The Gigantic Adventures of Jeff and Simon is a family-friendly actual play podcast using the suited RPG system by Escapebox Games. It's a story about a mouse and a pigeon on a fantastic adventure that's light-hearted, silly, and fun for everyone. Enjoy! Hello, welcome well, to the gigantic adventures of Jeff and Simon. <laughs> I've forgotten Simon's voice. <laughs> it's your voice, but slower. Yeah, it really Hello, is. Hello, I'm Hello, Simon. I'm Simon. <laughs> but that's not it either. Oh, hello there, and welcome to the gigantic adventures of Jeff and Simon. Does is, does Simon now host a British property yeah. show? All right, anyway, cut right, it there, what? guys. Y'all stop being silly, and let's do it. Okay, I'm going to do it again, <laughs> uh, unless you're going to do it. Yeah, I'll hammer one out. Come on now. What ho, fancy friends, and welcome to the adventures of me, Jeffrey Moncler, and my faithful, wigged, feather-ed steed, Monsieur Simon. Up in the sky, down on the earth, we go about the place, and we find many adventures to be had, seen, smelled, and dutched with my rapier, and my feathered friend's bodacious bootay. Join us as we traverse the realms of existence, discover ourselves and others, and have adventure! Ah! Okay, first of all, that was amazing. Second of all, that's going to be an ad for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Last time, uh, Jeff and Simon uh, had recently uh, successfully delivered a letter, which was their first mission together, and then they were pursued by an eagle who appeared to be uh, corralling them uh, in, uh, to go... You know what? I don't know how to finish sentences... <laughs> Because I noticed that you put a lot of effort into getting the successfully sentence done. I that know. was trouble last time, and it just led into you know. I know. Yeah. I'm so I'm so in my own head that it hurts my own head. Anyway, they were knocked into a strange green shimmering patch of sky, and they have appeared uh, in some strange new realm uh, amongst the tall grass in a dense forest they tried to get their bearings and were attacked by a snake-like creature which they fought off with a combination of simon sitting on it and picking its back and jeff swashbuckling it until it was no more and that's where we are cool so so simon is 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 very uh upset right now (laughs) His wings hurt. He's sitting on a dead snake. <laughs> He's just not feeling great about life right now. He seems to be talking to the mouse that has just been riding him this entire time. Uh, and that's throwing him for a loop because he thought the mouse was somebody different than he seems to be. <laughs> and he's still cursing that woman Marley for getting him into this whole mess. Uh, Jeff Ray is fossicking about in the tall grass, um, muttering uh, chivalrous swears to himself while he tries to find his rapier. Okay, uh, just roll me a diamond flip. Oh, yeah, make me a diamond flip. Not roll. I'm going to stop saying four. that. Okay, uh, yep, Jack plus and four. And it's a diamond. Is 15, and yes, it's a diamond, so beneficial uh, flavor effect. You well, find your... Fine. You find your rapier very quickly. Uh, it's, it's almost in the first spot you look. Um, and you also find a, a set of footprints. From the tall grass, you see a shining uh, rapier blade arise at perfect perpendicularity with the earth, followed briefly by a very proud, ha ha! Um, and then uh, Jeff Ray, um, pokes his rapier on the ground stands on the handle to be taller than the grass and says what ho my steed footprints are a foot (laughs) (laughs) 
and currently the uh, rapier, because <sighs> his weight is being pushed into the ground, so he's lowering back down into the long grass. He's slowly getting shorter. I love it. <laughs> Doing fancy hands let's, as he deflates. Let's start with the fact that I'm not your steed. I am Simon. That's ah, my Steven. name. Yes, I'd appreciate very good. It if you just uh, come and courtesy and use my ah. name. And as, as he's saying this, he's getting off the snake, kind of flicking like dead bits off himself. <laughs> and he's... Um. <laughs> Jeffrey, in reply, because of the length of the grass and his refusal to move from the spot, uh, is jumping up in the air to respond, and um, replies with, "Ha! My apologies, fair steed. I do not use common courtesy. I use uncommon courtesy. <laughs> Away! <laughs> Magnificent Simon, courtesy." Simon briefly uh, thinks about leaving. <laughs> Just, you know, it briefly clock, clocks his head that actually if he just kind of tries to disappear in amongst, in between one of those jumps, he might be able to. And then remembers that he actually still doesn't know where he is. And he does only know one person in this near vicinity who did kill the snake, technically. So he sighs to himself and waddles into the grass in the direction of the jumping rapier. Um, cool. So, Jeff, you jump uh, with your rapier through this tall grass um, for quite some time, probably at least half an hour, if not uh, a little bit longer. And then the grass starts to get shorter and shorter. And then when you come out of um, of the grass, you see in the quite near distance a what looks like a small town or settlement of small woodland creatures that, that is built around a lake. And um, even from this distance, you can see uh, like some some bigger creatures like giant toads, um, and you can also see uh, smaller things like uh, yeah, like uh, rats and stick insects and things like that. But they're all bustling about like some kind of big activity is taking place. Ah, people, civilization, we're saved. <laughs> and he ah, starts, new friends. <laughs> he starts waddling towards the town. Now, now, uh, now, friends. Every... Uh, I, I, I think uh, I might handle this <laughs> for us. Handle what, my friend? Well, I mean, you seem to be a little jumpy. <laughs> ah, uh, you noticed, says I... um, Jeffrey, as he cartwheels in front of your face. <laughs> yes, 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 absolutely. Stunning uh, behavior, uh, uh, display of um, your your acrobatic skill. Uh, what, what I'm trying to um, say is, I I, I I I am considered quite charming in the circles that I were uh, was in, uh, and and I, I I feel sure that I can charm my way into some uh, lodgings and. And he sort of flaps his broken Jeffrey, wings a uh, bit. Grass, <laughs> Some healing. Uh, Simon by the beak. <laughs> uh, Jeffrey grasps Simon by the beak and says, Say no more, good friend. For we both know that I, as a known adventurer, should stay below the covers, so to speak. And you, as my faithful bird servant, should do the talking. For it is unfit uh, for no. a gentleman of my stature. No. no, no, quiet, 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 quiet. There is an explosion and um, one of the buildings you can see in this town it just erupts into flame and people start um, like all the animals start like rushing back and forward and, and you see that there are about a dozen mice uh, with small buckets made out of leaves they're running back and forward from the lake to um, the building and they're sort of forming like a bucket chain trying to put out this fire uh, and you also see a squirrel who's, who's obviously quite a lot larger than the mice uh, runs in carrying a much larger um, leaf bucket in its mouth and then like dumping water on the flames but it's not enough to do the job um Jeffrey to um sort of wrap Simon on the beak with his uh, with with uh with a you small can't. stick <laughs> sorry those of you who are listening to the podcast you can't see the expression that just cut <laughs> on my face which could be says, described um, as quite like uh what did you just say <laughs> it says my dear gentle bird, I'll take the mice. You take the fire. And he runs off uh, towards the line of mice to assist them. 
Okay, so you charge in towards this town, um, and uh, yeah, so I mean, you you easily get into the town, which is ma- mostly made up of like buildings that are constructed from uh, like toadstools and logs and things yeah. that, like that that have all been placed around the perimeter of this lake. Um, and uh, there's too much chaos for them to really stop and like deal with an outsider um, mm. for now. Um, so you almost sort of just get handed a bucket of water just mm. because you're in the proximity of the bucket. Someone just like without looking at you at all just shoves a bucket into your hands. Um, Jeffrey begins, uh, takes part in the bucket chain um, and seeing some malingering toads who are just watching what's happening uh, runs up to one of them and are these animals wearing clothing? They are not. Uh, grabs one by the warts and says, um, You there, toad face. Get mm. that little gob of yours down the water. The, and help the, to- the bloody hell out. The toad looks very offended at first. Um, like, like very offended the way that Jeffrey a king... slaps him and says, Snap out of it, toady. How dare you? Across the cheeks. Jeffrey seems, seems to have a real problem with physical violence that I think we need to address at a, you know, a later date. Maybe not right now, but um, Simon is filing this away <laughs> as information <laughs> the, uh, on him. <laughs> the toad says, oh, how, how, how dare you speak to me in that manner. I'm doing the best I can for, 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 for the town. Uh, Jeff, uh, re, um quietly slips his um, rapier out and tickles the toad's chin um, oh, saying, what, are you, what are you doing? Quietly now, lad. We wouldn't want anyone to get jumpy, would we? Down oh, to the sorry. water now. Chop, chop. Bit of water in the mouth. On the fire. Or else we'll see who makes the best sashimi, young man. <laughs> and then whoop, whoop, hello, whoop, and he rejoins the, uh, the bucket chain. Roll, roll a... Oh, to make a heart flip. See if you convince him to do this. Um, that's a 11. And I'll call that Moxie as well. Okay. Uh, so it's four twelve, 12, uh, but with a negative outcome. Okay, so uh, it got an 8. So you succeed in convincing this toad to do what you want. Um, but you, you happen to notice that he eyes you with a very dark eye as he does. Like you, he, you can tell that there's going to be repercussions for this. That's fine. And the toad hops into the into the lake and like gulps up a big mouthful of water and hops out and sort of like just kind of um, expels it onto the base of the flames. Mm-hmm. And then and then he he just gets to work doing that a few more times. And you see, there's a few other toads sort of hanging back in the distance, and uh, you know they're all sort of shaking their heads. Which um, are their whole, which are their whole bodies, I guess. Um, cool. So, well, how is how is Simon's wings? Like, um, could they, I fly? They're, they're feeling a bit better. You feel? I'd say you could try and fly, um, but I'm, I'll give you like a small penalty for trying because you're you're not 100 percent confident that your injuries are healed. Okay. So I. But hop, it, was, it felt like a sprain before. Yeah, I hop over to the nearest bucket and I see if I can sort of fly carrying it to the water and then fly back and carry it to the base okay of, like do above you, the fire. yeah do you go for one of the small mouse buckets or one of the larger like squirrel buckets well how big am i compared to a squirrel i'd be about the same size of a squirrel right? yeah you're about the same size of a squirrel yeah yeah so i'd want to do my part so yeah squirrel size bucket okay so make me a uh, spade flying flip and uh take a minus four okay does that include the fact that i have plus two to fly yes so so it's actually only minus two correct cool so i got i got bad anyway because i got a four and i got a club so that's bad too right yep that's bad too and my speed so four... is four so okay, i got four, eight, eight minus two with a bad yep okay so, Which yeah, kind of does um, make sense a, if I've sprained my wings, right? <laughs> that's, that's a critical critical failure there. You um, you, you pick up um, the you, you like sort of fly just above the brim of one of these uh, larger buckets and grab it with your talons, and then 
flying down to the lake surface to sort of scoop it up and it's a lot heavier than you anticipated and you just flat out nosedive into the lake. <laughs> Amazing. And the bucket just like fills with water and sinks. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm still holding on to the bucket because I'm like, oh no. <laughs> and I, I'm just sinking in the lake with the bucket. <laughs> uh, that does make sense with Simon and his gullibleness to think that he could do that. <laughs> um, while framed heroically against the flickering fire, uh, with one leg raised on a bucket, um, flicking his rapier around to, as if directing an orchestra, um, uh, Jeffrey um, points it, glinting with firelight, at the recalcitrant toad and says you were there frog face get the bird and then returns to uh to um, make another make, make another heart flip against this group of toads i'll say there's four of them uh three and i'm gonna go and take moxie on that as well so four so that's ten yeah um they, <laughs> they flipped an ace which is a one <laughs> um, so they yeah th- these four toads which look like even without speaking they look as though they're probably as uppity as the other one um, they go like rrr, rrr, and they sort of hop over to the lake and sort of get to work to getting Simon out <laughs> Simon 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 you get helped out of the lake by these four grumpy old toads cool and I come out still dragging the water bucket with me too because I had not let go of the bucket okay what are you going to do with a bucket on the ground full of water (laughs) I'm going to have a drink because (laughs) (laughs) after nearly drowning he's quite thirsty for some reason (laughs) he's going to drink sort of huffing out of the bucket while he does it He's going, ah, oh, th- th- thank, thank you. <coughs> thank, thank you. Um, over his shoulder, um, Jeffrey calls, What fun, eh, bird? Ah, ah, what fun indeed. And he'd click his fingers at you if he had fingers, but instead he sort of shakes his wing at you. The, um... The a bucket chain of mice seem to be working, and the the fire is getting smaller and smaller. And then the squirrel comes past with uh, carrying one of the large buckets, and he sort of glances at you, Simon, as if like judging you, but not saying anything. And then um, dumps his bu- bucket on the fire, and it's out. And the building that was on fire was a um, was a vertical log, and it's. The like it's the bottom half of it is just completely charred, and then the squirrel just puts down the bucket and and then off, offers you a hand like to sh- to like shake me. Yeah, that makes no sense. But sure, <laughs> I have done the least here. <laughs> I uh, I I I reach out my my wings and then remember the blades and make sure that they're in, uh, and then sort of. Yeah you know, put my wing in his hand because I can't really yeah. grab, you know? <laughs> okay. Yeah. The squirrel <laughs> takes your wing and shakes it and just says, we appreciate that you tried. Welcome to Prickleton. Are you, you're new. Ah, uh, yes. Ha <laughs> Uh, not really sure where we am. Uh, fl- flew in, shall we say? Ha <laughs> <laughs> well, ha. Ian, how did that go? <laughs> the flying part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not great. Uh, we're kind of attacked by an eagle, plummeted to the ground. And an Simon, eagle? Simon sort of flaps his wings a bit uselessly and is like, I think I've got a sprain. Yeah, an eagle. At the, at the word eagle, a lo- everyone with an earshot all starts like in hushed tones, like talking to each other, like whispering, like, oh, an eagle. And you hear the word eagle quite a few times as if like, eagle is like a big bad word here you're not allowed to say well, um and, i'm sorry to have and caused then, such distress uh sorry <laughs> i'm um, still trying to listen side, you can hear uh, a, a sort of click scrape click scrape um and then like a and um if you if you turn your heads you'll notice 
again with his leg raised in a powerful nonchalant stance, somehow smoking a very long, thin cigarette. Uh, Jeff Ray blows a smoke ring and says, Eagle, eh? Never been scared of one before. Shan't think I'll start now. And then finishes a cigarette and flicks it into uh, quite a dry area of, of a roof. <laughs> we were literally being chased <clears throat> by an eagle. You, Simon, though, says, wasn't I? Simon says, looking at Jeff. What is wrong with you people? And then the, the squirrel fills up his bucket and then like tosses it to where you just flicked. Well, uh, Bushy Face, I wasn't the one whose house was on fire, so uh, what's wrong and, with you people? And and <laughs> at that at that Simon uh does that classic thing where he wraps his wing around the squirrel. Um and I'm I'm so 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 terribly sorry about my friend. Um please, please, please ignore uh and, and tell me, tell me, uh what is what is going on here? Why is everybody scared of an eagle? And why did that house seemingly explode? And he's using his effortless charm to to ha ha, you know, sort of uh, ease ease the tension that just happened behind him. Uh, in the background, you'll be able to hear um, some general ha has and uh, and swashbucklery. Yeah, some reason oh, Simon's oh. taken up the ha-ha piece. Oh, no, um, in the background it. you'll hear Jeffrey um, holding forth to an uninterested crowd about his various adventures. Um, and when people don't seem to be uh, paying attention, he shouts, You there! Turn around, bask in me. Bask, I tell you. Bask! <laughs> um, and then continues to tell his stories. Cool. Um, the the squirrel says, That her, that building is... It's, it's where Ferritor the Tinkerer lives, and he must have... Uh, one of his experiments must have gone awry. I hope he wasn't inside. I, I don't think he was. Uh, oh, dear. Have we not searched the building for survivors? Well, I, I mean, no one was going to run into it while it was on fire, but someone's... Ah, cowards! Someone's cowards got to go in... All. Now, I, 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 we'll talk to the Can mayor, you hear I suppose. This at the same time as you're telling stories? That doesn't seem yes. to... <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I'll have you know <laughs> that I am always alert and I notice things. Uh-huh. Yeah, the squirrel says, um, oh, we, let's ask the mayor who, I mean, what, what he thinks. And then he turns and gestures to the grumpy old toad, the first one. Good, and, good. Keeps um, getting better. <laughs> Jeffrey's eyes go very wide. Your Excellency, how are you? Looking very mm. warty. Thank you for the that's a compliment, I suppose. Uh we we didn't get off to the to the greatest start, uh y- young man. Uh, well I always get off to a very good start, so hmm. Uh and Simon again uh puts one wing out and the other sort of wraps around the side of him like he's doing some kind of bow, but manages to smack Jeff in the face with the wing at the same time. Just like what really just face? just try to cover his face up. Do you know what I mean? Like, what, hope the, what hope, feathery legs? Wash those wings out. <laughs> uh, uh, your 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 excellency of the town, I, I do apologize for us dropping in. We di- we uh. we saw the fire and, and we couldn't help but but help as as the situation. Uh, uh, we, 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 we don't often have newcomers here in uh, in, in Prickleton, but but uh, we're, we're sorry to, ha- to have you arrive under such circumstances. Uh, please, uh, none of this, uh, Your Excellency. Just call me Grimp. Okay, okay, Grimp. Uh, Are you sure you don't want Your Excellency? Uh, as as uh, as time would have it, <laughs> uh, Grimp. Good uh, God, man, that name. We haven't. Sounds. You sound we, like a like a disease. Ah, sheep. We haven't searched the building that was on fire. I hear there may be people inside, perhaps. Uh, no, I, uh, this is the home of uh, F- uh, Far- Faratol the Dinkera. <coughs> Sorry, I'm an old toad, and well, speaking and you like just this hurts my voice. Did have smoke <coughs> insulation? It, it only makes sense for you to be <laughs> absolutely Classic smoke grim. insulation. Inhalation. <laughs> right up. Yeah, I, I have uh, insulated some smoke in my time. <laughs> As a toad, it's, it's uh, something we do. <laughs> uh, this is the home of Ferritor the Tinkerer. We, we, he's out of town, so 
Uh, perhaps one oh. of his experiments uh, oh. went awry on, on its own. But you're right, we should send somebody inside to, to, to investigate. Well, I mean, I, I am happy to volunteer. Oh, well, I'm not. That's very, that's very uh, kind of, of, of you and not of you, um, <laughs> the little one. Some of us have done it up, you know. Yes. What has? Some, Look at some that side have... little mouse over there. Some of Excuse us me, have. Darling. Done. Darling. Oh, Hello, God. how are you, darling? Oh, God. And at this point, um, Simon roll... backs up and sits <laughs> on Jeff in an effort Jeff... to contain him. Jeff, make a heart flip to to uh, woo this female mouse you've just seen across, it has gone across the way. Very badly. That's a six total with a negative That's, outcome. That is because Simon was currently sitting on him as he just. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, yep, and she got a nine anyway. Um, so negative outcome or not? She she looks at you and sort of huffs as if to say, "Yeah, no way." Goes. <laughs> And then turns and leaves with her friends. Anyway, this is very kind <laughs> of her for you to, to go and inspect uh, inspect the scene. That would be lovely. And then the squirrel um, says, and I guess I can join you as well. Yeah, all right, Brooklyn, get over here. All right, that's what we're doing now. <laughs> My name's Grom. Grom the squirrel. Uh, sorry, sorry, can you spell that for me? Because I'm not really sure how to say it. Yeah, Grom. G-R-A-H-M. Grom. Okay. Okay. Like Graham. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Good. Does everybody in this town have names that have G's, R's, and, and, and M's in them? Is that a thing? Just I'm just checking no. now. Okay, good. Cool. No. Anyway, <laughs> all right, Gr- Grom. <laughs> let's. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> let's. Grom. That's a you, uh, Grom. <laughs> let's, let's go inside Ferritor the Tinkerer's house and see what's going on. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Simon. Okay. Uh, Simon says, uh, "With your lead, Grimp. Uh, we will be back." <laughs> and starts waddling over to where the fire was because he at least Good knows luck. where that is. You walk up to, uh, so as I said, it's a vertical log and it's just got like a doorway and nothing else adorning the outside. Um, but it's all sort of charred around the outside and like the little area around it's it's sort of, I guess what you would call the, the perimeter or the yard. It's just all charred. Charred yard. Charred yard. It's a charred got yard. It. Grom is just sort of making, like, small talk with you on the way in. He's like, yeah, Ferbator is always doing all sorts of crazy things. I don't know where he is at the moment. Are we likely to find things in here that could kill us, Grom? I don't know. I mean, if we'd been in here a few minutes ago, we'd be dead. Fair point. <laughs> Simon just clumps in. Um, it's, it's like, uh, really dark and smoky in here for obvious reasons. Uh, this is the aftermath of a fire after all. Um, you can tell that there are like a few tables around and that they, um, everything on them has sort of been destroyed beyond recognition, but it looks as though it was some kind of lab. Sure. Simon's just kind of walking through, sort of picking randomly at things and, and also going, uh, hello, hello. Anybody survive the fire? <laughs> As he's walking through. <laughs> yeah, you, um, get, you, get, you hear nothing in response. Uh, to be fair, he is a little bit of an idiot, so that's fine. He doesn't, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know any better. <laughs> Are there any dead people in here? Hello! Hello! Shout Anybody? twice if you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> um... Chefferay is generally kicking things and just sort of looking about in uninterested fashion now that the um, the fun has finished. The uh, Grimp, the, the, the toad mare, um, hops up to you, Jeff, and he sort of <clears throat> he, he eyes you up and down a little bit, and then his eyes sort of catch on your shield. He says, excuse me, young man, I, first of all, I, I didn't get your name. Myself. 
Y- yes, you, sir. Y- yes. Uh, Jeffrey Montclair. Eh. Jeffrey Montclair. Eh. Right. Uh, we, the we, air we, is we, silent. Oh, we, why did you say it? Well, you have to know it's there in order to say it silently. Think about right. it. Right, I'll, I'll practice. How could in you my... say it silently if you didn't know it was there? You would <laughs> just not be saying it rather than saying it silently. Think about it. He says, uh, so Jeff, 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 Jeff Ray Moncler. 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 Jeff Ray May I, may, young mouse, may I take a look at, the, at that shield of, of yours? It, it's, it's quite fascinating. Absolutely not. All, all right. Good day. See you later. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Turns and uh, hops away. <laughs> More gigantic adventures coming soon when Jeff and Simon return. Oh,